The health department announced today that another eight people with coronavirus have died in the Ocean State, bringing our total now to th uh, 430. Another 176 new cases were also confirmed. The state now has 11,450 total cases. Here are things break down by cities and towns. Providence with the most cases in the state with more than 3,700, while Pawtucket is now up over 1,000. Cranston and Central Falls each with more than 600 positive cases. And with cases still on the rise, the number of people in the hospital went down again. Currently, 276 people are in the hospital, 73 of them in the ICU. Also today, a good sign. Governor Gina Raimondo held her daily briefing in a new spot, allowing reporters to be in the room. And with the state's economy slowly starting to open back up, today, Governor Raimondo announced plans to let Restaurants begin outdoor dining a week from today under some strict guidelines. Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Goggin spoke to two local restaurant owners about the chance to reopen and what needs to be done in order to keep customers and workers safe. One of the best parts of summertime in Rhode Island is the opportunity to grab dinner and drinks out on the water. And this time next week, that could be an option. But right now, restaurant owners across the state have to decide whether offering that option is worth it. It's an announcement restaurant owners and diners in Rhode Island have been waiting to hear. Starting next Monday, restaurants can begin limited outdoor dining. I'm really treating uh, May 18th as the first day of summer and uh, looking forward to it. Uh, I know it's going to be a challenge, but, uh, you know, we got a great team. We're, we're going to uh, take it on. Owner of Matunic Oyster Bar, Perry Rasso, says the past two months have been incredibly difficult as he's navigated how to operate a takeout business. He's now gearing up for next Monday, bringing employees back to work while figuring out how to safely bring back customers. Measuring tables and measuring distance of tables, which we've done here, and figuring out what, uh, how many people we're going to be able to fit, how many tables we're going to be able to fit. Rasso says he believes there will be a drastic reduction in the number of customers they'll be able to serve as they operate under new regulations, which include dining. By reservation only. Tables of no more than five people. Tables must be at least eight feet apart. One time use menus are recommended. Valley parking, buffets, and salad bars are not allowed. And no more than 20 tables will be allowed in an outdoor space. That last part proving problematic for an establishment like Cello's Waterfront, where operations manager Jared Cello says they can accommodate 400 diners outside. We'd like to see some grace, some leniency in terms of the 20 table max capacity. I will say that we could go much higher than the 20 tables and still practice much greater social distancing than some of the smaller outdoor venues. Cello says he's still waiting for more guidance from the state before deciding whether they'll open for outdoor dining in phase one. He says he appreciates the state trying to balance impacts on public health and wealth, but he remains concerned for businesses like his own. Well, some feedback from some of our broadline distributors where some of the um, higher volume locations um, in New England right now, as far as the um, takeout business right now goes, um, and we're still operating at a loss. The reason you'll have to make a reservation for outdoor dining is because restaurants are now required to keep a log of customers and employees for 30 days for the purpose of contact tracing. Reporting in East Greenwich, I'm Caroline Goggin, Eyewitness News.